Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the video. My name is Bradley, also known as The Swim Coach. Today we're going to be looking at game week two of the Premier League fantasy football. Um, but beforehand, um, if you want to join my uh, league, the code is going to be up here or a link down in the description. Also, on the 25th of August, from 5pm till Monday 5pm, I'm going to be doing a 24-hour live stream on kick.com forward slash the swim coach and also at some point on youtube um so if you want to come and join me um youtube i can only stream for a certain amount of hours and then i've got to log off um so twitter uh, kick i'm going to be there all all time if you want to join me feel free to but let's get into the video um now i have made one one change to my team um, was it the right call? Maybe. Um, so I've gone, I would have it in goal. Actually, I've made a substitution as well. Um, because I had Pickford last time. I'm going to go Ariel this time, uh, just to keep him like that, just to see because of I'm not happy with Everton at the moment and how they're defending. Um, I've gone with Ben White. And Mikalenko, he's another one that I could potentially get rid of, but I'm going to probably wait until the international break. Now, my midfield, this is where I've changed. Riffrow is going to be played. He was on the bench last time. Um, Salah, he's a and Kolovic. Now, the reason why I've done this, I want to try and get a Man City player in against playing Ipswich. The only he did really well last week. Hopefully he plays again this week. Um so we'll just have to see on that one. Um I've got Declan Rice which now that I've got um Povich in I've actually got two million pounds in the bank. So I'm gonna probably upgrade him to someone like Odegaard um later on. Um probably in the um international break because uh, we can look more in depth of those teams of players and stuff like that um my strikers are going to be Havertz and Isaac um now I'm worried about Havertz um and the reason why I'm saying I'm worried about him it's against Villa Villa are a very good team Got a very good goalkeeper, um, ex Arsenal player. They've got an ex Arsenal manager. They did the double over us last year, so I'm a bit worried about all of that. Um, Isaac, I've got as my vice keeper, but I'm actually gonna probably keep him there because I think Mo Salah is definitely gonna be playing against Brentford, so we'll see. Um, my bench, Pickford, because I'm, I'm, I will get rid of him, uh, purely because of I want to try and switch him from another uh, player. Um, Anderson's now moved from Palace to Fulham, um, so I'm going to have to look at that because I've now got three Fulham players. Um, do I want free flimper? Maybe. Um, now I've gone Watkins on the bench. And the reason why I've gone Watkins on the bench is he's against Arsenal. I'm an Arsenal fan. I think we're, we're playing out of the park, but I'm also worried that he could also score loads of points as well. Um, he's the, the tough one. I may put it. I may do a last minute switch, um, for him and Smith Row, um, but I'm still not sure. If you um follow me on Twitter or X, um. You will find out my last minute 
team, okay? Because I am recording this at half past eight in the morning. Um, so we'll see from there. Um, I may switch him out. I'm not 100% sure. Um, fixtures. Uh, Brighton United, okay, um, at 12.30 UK time. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to call this as a one-all draw. Um, Brighton are doing really well. United, well, we'll see on that. Um, Palace, West Ham. I think this is, this could go any direction. Um, with Palace selling a lot of their players and West Ham getting in a few players. Fulham, Leicester. Um, I don't know on this one. Again, uh, Fulham have got a few new signings. Leicester coming up from the championship. Uh, did really well against Spurs game week one. Fulham lost game week one to Manchester United. Uh, but they, but they held off. Uh, we'll have to see. Um, Man City, Ipswich. Oh, this is going to be a. I don't know. I think if Ipswich played like they did against Liverpool in the first half, they do that the whole game. I can see it a bit more tighter. But if Man City come out and guns plays, it could be a five or six nil. So we'll see on that one. Um, Southampton Forest. Again, Forest have signed a lot of new players. Um, Southampton up and coming. Again, I think same for Fulham and Leicester. It's, it's going to be a tight one, I think. It can go either way. Uh, Spurs Everton. Spurs didn't do well in their first game. But they are at home. They've got that home crowd. Everton. Yeah, I'm not sh I'm not sure about Everton this season. I think there's only going to be one thing, and that is them going to get relegated. Um, it's a shame. Uh, then 5.30 comes Villa, okay, against the mighty Arsenal. Um, again, tough. Villa did do the double over us last year. Um, it, I, it's going to be a close one. I think it's going to be one all or two one, something like that. Uh, Bournemouth Newcastle. Eddie Howe going back to Bournemouth. Um, we'll see how we get on there. Excuse me, sorry about that. As I said, it is half past eight in the morning. Um, and then we got Wolves Chelsea, which. Wolves sold one of the better players to Chelsea. Um, Chelsea have got a lot of players. There's a lot of... How can I pull it? Dead wood at Chelsea. So again, have to see on that. Uh, Liverpool, Brentford, 5.30. Well, uh, 4.30, sorry. Um, well, during the second half, I will be live on kick.com and actually first start i will be live on youtube um so i think stay out have a watch i think it could be interesting that Liverpool. see if i over tony actually plays in that game not sure um but for now ladies and gentlemen i hope you like game week number two good luck and keep an eye out on x or twitter Catch you on the next one. Goodbye from now.